Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for another episode of The Walking Dead. Episode two of season one, we just all ended the last chapter by getting to the motel. And so as we've been there for a little bit is what I'm guessing as we enter into this chapter, starvation is going to strike us. There's definitely limited food options. I'm sure there's like a vending machine or two, but I think I talked about this a little bit at the end of the last episode. Um, but if you didn't catch that, I think as necessities, like the abundance of necessities kind of starts being more scarce, especially since they're on the move, they can't move with as many like food options and where are they getting their water and all of those things. As that increases, Increases and the more time since the whatever occurred since the zombie apocalypse started, um, we're going to start increasingly seeing the rift between different human factions and groups and turning on each other. Because look, girls got to eat. People are hungry. And if it's anything like how I am when I'm hangry, I can only imagine the terror that's about to take place. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode of The Walking Dead. All right, episode one, Starved for Help. This is going to get so good. Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh, I like that they do a previous. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. <laughs> Well, shoot, I didn't have to recap for you guys. That All makes my job easy. This? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got Rip it, dog. Rip dog. Rip dog in his shirt. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, oh man. Oh my god. Oh. I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Uh, I didn't even look up if you can save both of them. I, I don't want to look up any of that stuff and I'm, just in case there's spoilers. So I am really interested to see at the end of this. Although I think the majority did rule that most people chose. Uh, I almost said Clarice. <laughs> um, the female over Doug. It's been a couple days. Give me a little bit to remember their names. Loot the body, loot the body. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal. Who is lost. this guy? <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Oh, there was but an Air Force base by, wasn't door. there? Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on it. <laughs> Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. I should have grabbed some MREs. Make that, <laughs> make that last for a while. You'll have to ask Lily. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. Keep the positivity. You know, aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, mm. between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's better off without us. He's got a family to look out. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry I going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? When? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Oh. 
Larry and I are not friends. I have no idea. Oh! <laughs> He's just looking out for his daughter. Larry's I do think he is just looking out for his daughter. Because daughter. He, hey, he did Larry. threaten us she can take from that angle. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. He's and also... Didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. He's a walking dead man because he needs those pills to function, no? <laughs> or maybe he only needs the pills whenever he's having an episode with his heart condition. Can you make that shot? Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Mm -mm. Yeah. I the know. bird's barely gonna feed I'm just one person. Really Freaking hungry. Ah! Cannibalism. Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Okay, so maybe I'm crazy, but I don't remember Mark. And I don't remember having a shotgun either, so I feel like I must have missed some things. Fight or flight, is that what it says? Ah! Well, that's clever. I love like subtleties like that in games. A bear trap. Oh Jesus no. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Okay, it wasn't get, one of our it people. Off. Get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the what fuck happened? is there Ready? a bear trap out All right, here? Alright, start with the first it's thing. okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. Please. Was he bitten? Not our problem. We'll try. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. All right, Hurry, get him off, get him off, Hurry. get him off. Oh, another team member. Wait, that probably didn't like to. their teacher no so much. Slash. Please, get me out of this. Mark, oh, get the man. boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Please hurry. Damn, this is bad. Really cut bad. the chain, cut the chain, Just not the leg. Out, How many of you guys cut his Listen, leg off? Sorry, We're going to be surrounded any minute. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Cut, get me out of this. cut the chain, cut the chain. Oh, <laughs> I should have Johnny, amputated the, the leg. No, 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 no. no. Oh, Please save him. I, I clicked the wrong button. That was on me. Sorry, y'all. Let's go, let's There's go! There's so much blood already! Please, hurry up! I'm trying! Come on! Do you Try think you can get it open? Wait. Guys, I don't think this is working! Oh, yeah. Those things are gonna be it's not working, we need to amputate the leg! We have to amputate the leg! Oh Come my on, god, oh something. my god! Oh my god, no, I have to do it! Damn it, Lee, just no, cut no, off no. his fucking leg! Try the trap again! We don't have time Anything, for that! Please. I'm sorry, but we have to go, now! No! Uh, oh. uh, 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 I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh God, there's so many of us. He's gonna bleed out. Uh, oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. <laughs> if he's alive, grab him and let's go. I don't think he's going to be alive for much longer. <laughs> so there were probably other ways to go about it. I saw there was a rock. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! <laughs> Travis, run! Just run! What? <laughs> No! I might have handled every situation in that poorly. <laughs> Welcome back in. Wow. 
Uh, <laughs> poor Travis. Although, to be fair, if you trip and fall like that, you kind of, I'm not saying you deserve it. But he made his bed and he lied in it. And he laid in it. She got a nice little lifeguard stand going on. Yeah, that'd be so boring for kids too, because you can't even make a lot of noise. I wonder if you could have saved his leg. <laughs> I should have looked at the rock first, because I think that would have helped. My Clem, stop. I want to know where they got all these weapons from. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come Aren't on! Aren't they all just gonna follow them straight there? What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Me? Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I I don't know. Lee! She's a veterinarian. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for that a we could save his life? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing died. more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come yeah. on, Lily. These they are do people. have a camp. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. Mm. That food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. You were helpful, so that's the only reason you're persons, here. Are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just Aww. come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. No. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. I don't Once like Lily that or guy Lenny. Up and kick him out of here. Or Larry? Send him out on their own. I Lily or Larry. Less, but they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. I do not Why like you go him. Go mark with the wall. He's so irritating. I don't exactly you know see what? him starting to If you think I'm doing such a soon. shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. Uh, you see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. There wasn't anything else. You only have four food items for 10 hungry people. Also, the fake cheese, probably not providing much sustenance. Basically like eating nothing, right? The kids could all split one of the cracker rations. Each of them can get a, a dip. I get Lily has a point. I, I really do understand that, but just feels aggressive. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. 
What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, also, how useful is he going to be? This, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I didn't do it. I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. I didn't want to well, do it. <laughs> you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Um, I do find it interesting that nobody really was like, okay, who put the bear trap there in the first place? Because that definitely indicates that there's another group near us. <gasps> she drew a ginger time? cat. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yes. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Mm. At least there are two kids to kind of keep each other entertained. Let's talk to her real quick. Sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Mm. I am interested to see her opinion on who she thinks that we should give food to. Nobody has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Yeah, <sighs> Each of them could provide different assistance based on who I give the food to. Back in a bit. So I'll keep her in mind, but her and I are on good terms for now. That could change so quickly if I stop giving her food. Actually, let's talk to the new guy real quick. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Who so are? who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker. <gasps> ben Paul. band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... When... Everything happened. Um, I can tell you right now, if I give him food, <laughs> I will have a riot on my hands. So we're definitely not How doing that. Up, kid? Uh, well, I, um, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. He'll be prepared next time. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. This isn't Relax. going away, kid. You'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Back to normal is maybe a little... I don't know what they're going to do to help him in case he has to, like, walk or go somewhere. Don't exactly see any prosthetics Where lying it's around. it's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Okay, so that actually is... That is good. Because I don't have to give him the food for him to help us, I think. I think at this rate, we've already um, created a favor with him that I think he'll allow us to come even if I don't feed him. You should stay here. The coast does sound like a smart idea. I'm sure the zombies don't like water, so... The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I definitely wanted to tell him it was a good idea. I mean, it's already fall. Winter is going to be here, and then it's really going to be a lot harder. Like, it feels hard now. I can only imagine. Although the zombies would be slowed down 
in snow. I don't, I don't know. Do zombies freeze? <laughs> Just see a bunch of frozen zombies. Okay, we already helped her and talked to her. We're looking for a hat, by the way. I need to keep looking at the hat. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's they, been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. They did a great job with that, actually. I was a little bit better than. Uh, Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. There's no part of me that wants to give him food. <laughs> hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Even miss, ever miss the Air Force Base? Lily's pretty pissed at us. I, oh no, actually I was going to say I'm surprised that the Air Force Base wasn't a safe spot. But now that I realize it, if you don't have any security forces to guard it, the zombies could just easily walk in. But I would... I don't know, I'd find it really hard to believe that they didn't put up barriers or anything. Not that that would really hold them out. Lily's pretty pissed at us, wants some food. I feel like I should give him food. He was already kind of talking about being a little bit weak. Hopefully none of them are diabetic either. I doubt, I doubt you know, it. I miss but... the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely yeah. overrun. Well, Lily's pretty, pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. I also know that, like, I, I feel like a lot of people just have to insert a villain. Like, you have to have somebody that a lot of people don't like in a, in a TV show, in a game, in a movie, whatever it is. So I think that they just are kind of taking the brunt of that. And, I mean, he he has some... There is some weight to the things that he's saying. I kind of want to get him food. Here, eat something. Crackers and cheese. I think let's give him the piece of jerky. Or no, maybe something with some sugar. Let's give him the apple. You got an apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I don't like that decision. I fed Mark, so I do want to, I think, Here, let me Mark, give the axe to Mark. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Uh, alright. I, I... I feel like I should give him the jerky. I've got there are three pieces of food left. All right, let me think about this. Also, let me look for the hat while we think. Um, At least the sign. kids have something to keep them occupied. So, is it Katya? Katya is healing the one guy, so that definitely makes me want to to help him. Clem, actually, she looks like she's going to kill somebody. Hopefully, if I give it to, I feel like I should give it to. Want something to eat? Or maybe he looks upset. Maybe I should give it to the kids. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Okay. I do think so. Carly is doing a lot. Oh, I forgot about her. We should think about leaving here. Well, let's talk about you and Kenny. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. It's but a good this idea. Is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Oh, they must have ransacked the gun store, I'd imagine. Like, when they went back for the drugstore. They might have done that. 
<laughs> Shit happens, like losing your leg. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep All right, not out. giving Lily Fine. food. It's either going to be Lily or her dad. I'm definitely going to give Carly some food because she is doing a lot of the defensive measures. I, they even kind of mentioned it. I'm looking for subtle clues that the game tells you. So like they already had you listen in on a conversation with Mark that indicated he was like starting to get weaker from the lack of sustenance. So Carly looks like eat? she's shaking. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you mm. ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Take the crackers. I wonder if I can insist. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so he wants his son fed. Clem probably needs some food. Let's go feed the jerky to the jerk. <laughs> and then... And... Here, and then Larry. let's go ahead and feed the kids, maybe. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. You made a tough choice. Mm, okay. Also, I'm trying so hard to find the hat, and I just don't see it. Unless it could be in, like, a box or something. I just feel like this is really important for Clem. We dug through those for food a long time ago. Oh. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Unless they started repairing everything. Alright, so we could give food to Katya. I don't know why I don't have this, like... I don't have this crazy, not even desire to give it to her. I just don't, she doesn't seem like it's affecting her that much. Not as much as the rest of the group. All right, let's give it to hey, Doc. the kids. How about a little food? Look at his face. I'm telling you it's Sid from Toy Story. Here. Yeah, oh man, I'm so hungry. Duck and his family appreciated it. Save the last piece for somebody oh, else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. You could just alternate days. Carly will not take it. She, uh, let me try one more. Oh no, it doesn't even give you the dialogue option with her anymore. I know I should give it to Ben, but they're gonna hate me if I do. Here, Clem. Clemmy. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I love I Clem is awesome. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I feel like she hasn't picked herself in a while. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that oh. offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I mean... Carly, it's well. There was a comment earlier Ken, that spoke Lee, to Carly's here, hangriness. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it! Should have left him and I'm taken the other. Sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That body's that gonna start no looking good to people. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? You need to get rid of him? Oh my god! He was bit! They lied! The kid lied! The kid lied! The kid 
mother. Move, move. Shit, it's stuck. Oh my god. This damn kick him. Kick him. Use the stick to get away. Go. Hit him in the face. I'm gonna need some food. Shoot it! Carly? Should have given food to Carly. You okay? That kid freaking yeah. lied. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of oh us. Oh my... How does he know? God help us. It's in the water. It, it was in the water. The first few days it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! Who's this? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Oh, she hasn't had anything to eat. Are you armed? We don't want any trouble. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. I don't know if but, we trust uh, them. I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, uh, no. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, mm. what are y'all thinking? I don't like this. I don't like this. But we can't stay here. If we stay here, we will lose more people every... <laughs> You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. A couple gallons? Do you know the price of gas right now? <laughs> I do. There's something so about both of them there, I do not trust. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. That one's got shifty eyes. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us moving. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone no. thinks I'm so trustworthy. I was gonna say, there's a lot of people because who wouldn't think so. Does anyone else know? Doesn't matter. Larry, I should tell Larry her. Knows. I trust her. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Mm. It was an accident. Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone so would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. 
I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I don't like that they both, like, fell into formation next to me. The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in that. with that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each Same other brother. these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? No, nope, they're asking too many questions. This was a bad idea. They're being super shifty. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we got plenty I'm of sure food. They won't. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but we also had bad. You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Bandits? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fuck you you ass knew ass we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Wait it out, wait it Fuck out. Fuck you! Jesus. Asshole. Is there even a point in covering your face at this point? Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Also, he wasted some good bullets, you know? Savage. See, this is too nice and bright of a place to make it that long in this world. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Daily farm tours. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. I still don't feel like that's a long-term solution because you're dependent on gas, which is another thing you're going to have to keep going further and further out for. We can't have kids around the fence. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, Ooh. this is our mama. I think Brenda she makes St. some good John, biscuits. And welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? <laughs> we work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that no, you're all here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awfully hungry. We brought gasoline. Let's GP. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. I told Amazing. you she looked like she had biscuits. Can't get stuff like that anymore. <laughs> Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Butter Hopefully my buns and call me biscuit. Bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We That's can help true. you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Although she Maybe got some crazy eyes too. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? 
Why am I getting like they were serial killer vibes before? For the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. Yeah, ben is See not the exact person I'd want to have as my defensive measure. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. It's too incredible. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good check look the at barn, the defenses. Check the basement. Right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. They're giving me cannibal vibes. They're giving me serial killer vibes. And I think it's just because, like, currently in this situation, if you're overly nice, you're suspicious. Which maybe is, like, I feel like that... <laughs> I feel like nowadays, just in real life, it's like there's so few. It's like the same feeling if Too you're overly broken. nice. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try to fix it? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks mm. like it just needs a new board for the seat. And some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Alright, so we'll look out for more stuff with that. They have a cornfield too, y'all. I need to maybe learn to be more trusting in this circumstance. And we do have the axe on our hand too. I... And she did have biscuits. That was so funny too because... As she was walking down, I was like, she looks like she makes a mean biscuit. <laughs> and sure, she did. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. They have plugs in there? I think they can charge their phone on the wall. Maybe we can pull one of the planks from over here. Hmm. Pointy. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's the whole fence. All right, grab a plank, maybe. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. The mm. saw. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Sounded like we broke a whole tree. My favorite thing about games is always the Hermione never ending pockets. Let's talk to him. Hi. 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 Well, I'm, I'm glad Paul. you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? How many weapons do you have? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but there we, we go. only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mm -hmm. Found out that other survivors stayed at the farm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. 
He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. <laughs> Closest thing Those to are some fireworks. These, days, I guess. these generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. <laughs> the fence will stop no. a walker in about three or four seconds, but that's no. overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. I already feel it. Mark's gonna die. He was added to the group, doesn't have emotional connection to Mark yet. We just know he's from the Air Force Base. He's gonna get pulled. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? <sighs> That's so true. I try to be civil at least. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> We'll work it out somehow. Well, oh, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Maybe use the axe Ugh. to kick him over. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. I would still maybe bash its brain. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <sighs> I kind of want to take Maybe that arrow. Maybe John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Well, I think because it wasn't in his brain, I have a feeling the arrow came first, and then he stumbled into. Disgusting. Must have been bandits. Who do you think he was? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No emotional connection to them. We uh. smart using the axe. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Fortress needs people to defend it. It is useless without gas. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take For how long? Them? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We can take this place if we have to. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. I gotta fix the fence post, too. That one, I'm a little apprehensive about. Mm. It only will let me push them off. <sighs> oh. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Is he gonna break the fence if I do that? <laughs> Ooh. You Oof. never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but... It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Focus on the task. We'll go ask for more to eat after. Just Didn't we eat biscuits? I don't know if we eat biscuits they right what they were doing, when she offered them. Food and then giving us chores. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, but a good meal will be worth it. <laughs> that's so smart. Come on. This one almost I think broke I see it. Where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. 
Good idea. <clears throat> well, okay, Mark's dead. Mark's dead. If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. <laughs> Little help here, Lee. Okay, we're both going on that side. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences oh, are on. Oh shit! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate. Uh, oh, fiddlesticks! Jesus! Bandits. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. That's now who. That's how he knew that, that there were so many more. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. Okay, let's not do that. Behind the tractor. All right, we gotta move now. Can't lure me to the rat. We had a deal. We gotta move. What? What about our arrangement? Give us the food. Can you help me move it? You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's ours. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. Push the tractor. Push the tractor. It won't let me push the tractor. Mark. Oh, we gotta push it up. All right, to pull the tractor, I think we have to get this back up. No, 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 no. The blades are stuck in the dirt. Right there. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Oh, oh, all right, let's go, let's go. Come on, Mark. It should have worked. Shit, something's still blocking it. We had an agreement. There it is. Oh, fiddlesticks. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, I'm sure he'll be fine. Get to the gate. <laughs> All right. Give us the food. Shit. This zombie is suspicious. Oh, jeez. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have you to move. I don't remember pushing that one down. <laughs> Running over. You assholes to All right. Ah. Come on, drag him out, drag him out, drag him out. Uh, I do have fun sequence. This one, I don't recognize this one. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? We did not push that many down. Yep, I was like, we did not push that one down. Kick him in the face! Lay him up against the fence. Yeah, barely. Come on, the gate's right there. He's still crawling. Oh! Kick him! Here's the thing. Hear me out. I thought I was gonna be able to kick him. I thought I was gonna be able to kick him. Oh. One. How many of those things did we push down? No. All right, let me just do this sequence one more time. Is that two deaths? I think two deaths. How's he just taking a nap there, you know? Out here just taking a damn nap. Okay. Yeah. Fair. All right, it's gonna keep crawling oh, after us. The gate's it right might, there. It might get marked. Over there. I'll see ya. I'll go. I'll All right, that makes more sense. For me. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. They left the gate open. Why would they leave the gate open? I mean, I know it's not going to cause that much protection, but it would have been something. Lee, what's wrong? 
You have friends? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? Was those I don't trust the that. Woods, Mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm <laughs> fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now, we'll have your <laughs> Brenda's got you, baby. What? Must be the what kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. Mm -hmm. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. And now they're Carly back. said this place was locked down tight. So much for your understanding. Yeah. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You he know does look like he could are? stab somebody. They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Oh. Andy, are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is we find a way how many to get our whole group though. out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. Hopefully she I can fix the cow. coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Oh, that's nice. But she's our sharp shot. Sharpshooter. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing. My little Annie Oakley. Hope your kids like swings. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my tree house. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Aww. Yeah. Thanks. I didn't Anytime. fix it, did I? We're I missed that up. Alright, let's keep looking around a little bit. A lot of empty gas cans. I wonder if you'd use the lawnmower on some of the, the walking dead. All over the property. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I, I think we already saw point. that one. Oh, we can go over to the barn and probably check out the the sick calf. Yeah, let's go out here. I do like that they have multiple layers of fencing, and it kind of makes sure that you have layers of safety. Especially since they left the bar, the doors like wide open. We've got a hay Looks pile. Like a feeding station for the cow. And they still have a gazebo. Aw, I love gazebos. Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish Ooh, I knew, does she like I think Mark? He's in good hands now. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? Uh... How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world, though, because now we're not going to starve. I would gladly have Mark take another arrow in the shoulder <laughs> or the knee just so that we could eat dinner. That sounds really bad. <laughs> hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. 
It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do they put up? So he's the asshole. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. Oh, we he's never found out so what much. happened to their mother. And lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Fair enough. Do you think this is a good idea? Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. I feel oh, like we can no, always go back to the motor end. I take it you and Kenny haven't made up. <laughs> take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way. Uh, I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Please. I mean, he is doing I what he thinks is best friends, for them. It's not like he's not thinking about that them. He's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there is still hope. I'm gonna not say anything. You don't have to say anything. Your actions at the motel pretty much say it all. Oh, okay, Lily. Okay, Lily. I'll remember that. Man, I can't catch a break. What was that? Cornfield? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. I like all of the interactions at the farm, like you can observe. Let's see if there's anything on this side and then we'll, uh, more hay. More hay, hay. All right, let's check out how this cow's doing. To the cow. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh, it's not going to let me go in? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I feel like with how important that cow is, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep the cow in the house. <laughs> if it's actually producing milk, that's such a hot commodity here. I like when he walks really fast. Oh, well, let's go check out. Let's go talk to Clem and them. Damn it. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But I think how? it's his hard part Until that's sketchy. Do some recon, then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are Hell these people yeah. in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Nah, we'll go in a few minutes. give me a second. Just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us <sighs> when you're ready. I'll do that. Yeah, I want to make sure I talk to Clem before I leave because I feel like it's important for me to continue fostering that relationship. And I think it'll go farther with Kenny as well. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around and let me know if you find anything else. Lily doesn't want to be here. Your family made here, okay? 
let's ask about the family. I feel like keeping it, like keeping all of our interactions with Kenny about his family, it just make him more like endeared to us. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. Well, he doesn't want to be here. He's not going to care about me talking How you holding up? about Lily. I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was going to pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food. And I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Well, he's been doing a good job. You're not making me pick sides, Kenny. Well, you better think about it, because that time is coming. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit I feel like we camp. gotta go Kenny, It'll be Team a good Kenny. opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. We just picked up their bullshit. Figures free food wouldn't not even free hey, food, but food you wouldn't like have come swim? with more. Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Oh, we didn't find our hat yet. Sure. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? Alright, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. No. <laughs> Duck was like, <laughs> I think it's hard because it's uh just like a plank of wood. Because I'm pretty sure he just like was uh scratching his butt or something. What do you think of the dairy? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I don't think so. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure when. Optimism. One day. Things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. <laughs> We're safe here. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. I love how she just cares so much about other people. Like, she's really not selfish. And I feel like a lot of times when you're younger and a kid, I feel like that's when you are selfish. Um, but she just... I don't know. I think a lot of her scenes, they play this same music in the background. And any interactions between Lee and Clem just kind of, I feel like, signify hope. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. No. It's all yours. Yeah. Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> He's really throwing him out there. All right, y'all. So I think that means it is time to go find out who these bandits are and start saving our group and getting them fed. They could at least give us dinner before we go and find out the bandits. Because I feel like we'd do a lot better job putting a stop to them if we had a full stomach. Maybe. Okay, let's go. These bandits hey, don't want change it. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah. Let's it'll go. be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Oh, I thought we were going to slaughter some people. <laughs> Never mind. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Clementine is such a cute name. Isn't that that song too? 
Oh my darling. Oh my darling. Yes, it is. That's where it's <laughs> my darling Clementine. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Tracks. Soup. Spaghettios. I'm starting to actually trust Here. the John brothers. Oh shit, you found it? Use the scope. Save lots. They had to have been the ones that put the bear traps in. I don't trust this. You see anybody? Look at his eye closed. Stay on guard. Can't tell. Looks empty. Stay on guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Maybe kids. I bet you kids. Zombie or kids? Blood splatter inside. Mm. Clear. Behind this the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Mm, soup cans. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Lick the scraps. Lick the scraps. Oh, they give a, uh, let's grab that gas can for our base. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Oh. Uh, what would they have needed? Hold on. What would they have needed the gasoline for, though? Hmm. Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from What's save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Food supply? We don't know whose camp this is. Not unless you need empty cans. This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Hmm. Save lots. So I think I tried to dig around in it, but let me just double check. We know it's them then. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. How much food were they giving them? Two boxes from St. John's? That's a lot of food. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Hmm. Unless this was a group of other people that were stealing from the looks bandits, like and there could be, like, three groups here. Yeah, I don't think this is them. I think this Empty. is somebody else's camp, y'all. Tape recorder. Oh no, camera? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Who's on Battery's it? Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I don't like the way that he said, oh, good. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Wow. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Oh. Sounds like you need to mind your business. All right, let's look at the box and let's look at the soup. Nothing. It was really like they gave them milk cartons? Kettle. 
So many soup cans. This is definitely recent. Just water. Yuck, I don't need that. I guess that's it for the camp. I mean, the camera is probably what we needed to come here for anyway, like the main thing to take away. And he said the kid size, so I don't think there's anything in there. So I think we're I think we're good to go. Once I can figure out how to get out of this camp. Uh team? <laughs> team? There he is. It won't let me. Uh, maybe I need to look in the tent myself. Yeah. Her hat? Is that her hat? Did somebody steal her hat? No, it's a teddy bear. Teddy bear. A mom and a daughter. Mm. Jesus, there's a kid mixed up in this. This can't be them, well, y'all. It's more like. Oh, I saw an axe too. Oh, man. It is her baseball cap. Where did they pick that oh, up from? Don't fucking move. Shit. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. Is that no the... shooting as long as we gave you Jolene, food. was that the babysitter? What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I no, she you. works at Save Lots. I know what you are, and I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We what had happened to you? Who are you? You people broke it first. That's, Who the fuck are you? She's not with them. She's not with them. <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. I feel like you'd be more scared of the guns. Brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Where Take did you get Clementine's hat? Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. <gasps> it It's the baby. It's got to be the babysitter. The Jolene, isn't about? that the babysitter? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then no. I'll head down to that farm and shoot every Put down goddamn the crossbow, person don't be I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. Is it her they mom? They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell Jolene, him what you no. got in mind for us. <laughs> Jolene was the babysitter. I'm fairly certain it was the babysitter. Jolene, Jolene. God damn it! Thanks, I guess. I was gonna shoot her myself. You murdered that woman. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Is there? Oh, please tell me there was a way to get her out safe. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And she st you stole the girl from her. The woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I think Jolene was the babysitter. Uh, let's take that crossbow though. We can totally use that. I also find it really. Come on. I find it really weird that he's a, such a good shot. Now I know there's a scope on the gun and it was pretty point blank. Are we not gonna... Didn't she have a picture of Clem? Was that a picture of Clem that she was holding? Uh, 
oh, maybe she was holding a different girl and the bandit stole the, the child from her and she just assumed that we were the bandits. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. <laughs> this isn't Surprise what Terry cow. wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Mm-hmm. What happens when you have two dominant personalities together? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension mm. with y'all, huh? We've been hungry for a while. They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. Can say and that Lee, again. don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't she wander just too is far. giving me the crazy be eyes. Before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I think she is just a sweet old lady, and I'm picturing her being evil for whatever reason. <laughs> we gotta give her the hat. Wee dee dee. All right, so, oh, hey, that was not there before. What's in the it's toolbox? A small toolbox. Take it. Mmm, multi-tool will be super just useful. Just for a second. <laughs> just for a second. Oh, is there something I needed to be fixing with it, possibly? Let's go check on, uh... I like that a storm's rolling in, too. I, it adds so much to the atmosphere. Ah, uh, I really can't. I... Oh. Wait, doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Let's see if there's any new dialogue with them. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent. We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. Do you get the feeling that something's going on here? What were you and Kenny arguing over? I get the feeling something's going on here. She, that woman made it seem like she knew who the guy was. And the fact that he shot her so quickly like that, he also could have shot her like in the leg or done something other than like actually kill, you get kill the her. feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. I should have told her. Woods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. Since when have you cared about being rude, Larry? Lenny? Whatever your name is. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. <gasps> but yes. you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. We need I'm to find batteries. I bet you the camera has something on it. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Yes, we have that camera. Let's... Can I, can I take the camera out? I'm telling you, there is something very sketchy going on here. The mother's creepy. The guy, was it Danny? Danny was really creepy too. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing I'm missing here. If Kenny's getting that feeling too. 
We weren't allowed to go into the barn earlier. No. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. No. I feel like Clem does look at us as like a, I mean, Whoa. obviously like a father figure, but. Katja says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. That's not going to be good. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, I was the queen of saying I don't know whenever I was a child. I don't know. All right, let's explore first because I don't trust these people. There is something in one of these stalls. Blood bags. Hydrate. Well, it says hydrating fluid. Y'all, that's... Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. That, to me, is screaming. Wait, what is that? There's some medicine, too. Looks like a bunch of old, dirty clothes. Ooh, that guy's in here, too, foul. though. If they were hiding something, it would be pretty silly of them to be hiding it right in the barn where they want us in here. I have the multi-tool, so I should be able to get... supply boxes. Empty. Hmm. Back. <laughs> Maybe we can open the back of this barn door. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, mm -hmm. Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You're being stupid. She's not actually fa Whoa! I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. I bet you it's the Back husband. In case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. They probably you locked their the father. Lot. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're mm -hmm. trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Just something... Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Yeah. Well, you're... You know... Urban? Oh, you are oh. not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> what? See those screws? This Instead game. of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. Yeah. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. Got a multi tool too. Keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind the door? Kenny heard a noise. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Mm. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Well, that's convenient. I feel like it's Terry. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Oh, okay. That's on me. Sorry, dude. Let's uh, continue to open some of the stall doors, though. We might find something more. Or hay barrel. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that kid. Alright, I think there's another stall over 
here that we can look into. There used to be a lot more cows, that's for sure. It's a feeding trough. I don't like the music upped. All right, so we need to distract Andy, but I need to talk to him real quick first. How do I distract Andy? I found a multi-tool. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Did I give it to him? Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Did we... Okay, I get that, but did we end up giving him the multi... I still have it in my inventory, I suppose. I just thought there would be... I guess I'm gonna come back in here and do it just myself. Some fence posts. The hydrating fluids and stuff like that, and there were pills. It's like they were trying to keep somebody alive. Well hydrated. We do look sketchy. We might screw up our meal. Oh, <laughs> oh he's smooth so, talking. A woman like yourself run this whole place. Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Fair enough. I wonder if we messed around with the generator, if it would get Andy out there. Yep. Turn the generator off and tell him. Hmm. Oh. I need a screwdriver for this. Multi tool it. And we have the multi tool, so we won't even be able to know. God, I need to get a multi tool. There That's so convenient. Go. Uh. <clears throat> that thing is all too tight for my bare hands. Fair enough. <laughs> Problem is, is we're messing with the generator right before nightfall. And we just took a part out of it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, dog. Oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. He didn't notice that we had already unscrewed it. All right, let's be quick about this. And also I have a feeling that whatever we do find, we need to give Clem the hat too. Hold on. Hold up, wait. I know that it wants us to look for uh, whatever's behind that door. But the most important thing here is giving There's Clem back her hat. There. Careful, don't spook her. Oh. Hey, Clementine. My hat! You found it! He looked so sad there. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? Do you know That's somebody named enough. Jolene? Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. I don't think so. I don't think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. I just, uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh, maybe when the world gets better then. Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. No, welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. All right, Clemmy, I'll be back in a little. All right, let's get this done. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Why do I have to do it? <laughs> Dinner bell? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, Ooh. let's get that. Dad! Dad! We're gonna have come to come on. back and do it later. Let's eat. We're gonna do it in the middle Kenny, of the night. Come along, oh honey. man. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. I'm a Florida man. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be her husband. 
Maybe if we're really quiet about it, though. Am I keeping the screws? I'm watching them just fall to the ground. This does not feel good. Oh. I'm not gonna take the lock apart. I wonder why it even gave you that option. What is it? Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. I found the door open like that. Why is there so much wonder? Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Do you think they're kill- I told you! Didn't I say cannibals? Oh, what did I say oh, at the beginning? Wow! You are I'm pretty sure I said human meat. Oh, excuse boy. Us. We had to block Serial the door killers. After Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. They're killing humans. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just it's Mark. Rest. They killed Mark. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside. Oh in the hall. my! Be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I told you guys. I never trusted. You know why? No kidding. They reminded me of that family in Red Dead Two, the serial killers in Red Dead Two. Yeah, That's what it reminded me of. These boys aren't stupid. No, and they're a not. Baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Um, come on. High school diploma. He's dead. And that's why she wanted to know, or he wanted, yes, yeah, scratch marks. Walkers she... aren't getting through that thing. That's why he wanted to know if the doc had seen it, because obviously. Wait, should we try to sneak around? Obviously, the doc would have seen that it wasn't an animal being slaughtered back there. This must be Terry. Terry. All right, we're gonna peep upstairs if it's even possible. Mark is dead. We're about to eat Mark. The red wiring too. Because I think that's actually really clever of them to create an entire chapter centered around like the whole Well, let me let me let it play out first and then I'll give you guys my thoughts There's more of that medicine that we found what do they need so much morphine for oh to put somebody out Pins. smart. Oh, yeah, I guess someone needed some first aid recently Oh, Musty yeah. as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Because they're slowly cutting off pieces of human. Uh, where is that cord going? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. He probably IV is tubes, missing. Saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? He is totally missing some of his limbs. I'm telling you right now. Blood. Is that blood? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. That's pretty out of the ordinary. Feels like there's a storm coming. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. I know we're gonna get caught. That's a creepy looking candle, too. All right, that's everything in here. We need to make sure we close the door. If it will allow us to. Okay, it's not. We're just gonna keep everything open so that they can see that we're exploring all through their house. God, uh, 
I, th I feel like I'm missing something in here. Like there's something I'm missing. The bookcase, can we move the bookcase? It looks like we could move it maybe. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. The bed. Where the hell is Mark? Okay, I already looked at that. He was up here resting. I feel like if those are blood stains right there, yeah, look, you can see, I feel like you can see the sweep marks where they push the, where they push the door frame back and forth. And you can see like, but I'm not able to do anything with it, unfortunately. Oh, what the hell? Don't you guys, I freaking told you. Sketchy people. I heard it. I think we have to keep going down. Look at the towel. Musty as hell. Let's keep slowly going down, but help me. Look at the picture frame. It won't let me. It won't let me look at the picture frame. Maybe we have to keep walking down and we'll hear something. I know it's the bookshelf, but it's just not giving us the prompt to be able to do anything. All right, we have to keep going downstairs. Help me. It won't let me go. Help me. Okay, it won't let me go downstairs, so I am missing something. Maybe we have to relook at the power cord. There is something that I missed right down here. There it is, sorry, that's on me. Yeah, we have to be able to see the light first to know that there's another room. What the hell? I just think that this this game is so good. The fact that they make the chapter about starvation and they're going to highlight a family that's doing this absolutely brutal. And I'm pretty sure everybody just heard you move that. But that's why they wanted to know how many people that we had at the farm, how much gun, yeah. Oh. Ah. Lee. Mark, what the hell happened? <sighs> Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Clementine. Oh my god. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You better rush down there. Go, go, go. Clementine, no! What? Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? Oh, he no, duck. They could use some goddamn uh, manners. Mark is upstairs, Luckless. You're eating human meat. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Uh, You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge Trust him, Lily. Trust me. There's always something with this guy. We need to get the kids out of here. Go upstairs and have a look. They're picking off. What is going off. on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better. Just let us go. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. No. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. And y'all were gonna die one way like or another. Lily, grab the knife. Clementine, run. Kenny, your gun. 
Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Oh. We should have grabbed the gun first. Of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, Everything will be okay. Somebody do something. Eat. Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee, Lee. You f let go of her, I'll kill you. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! He crawled out. Mark crawled out. Mark crawled down. They have to go check on it. Handled that situation better today, Clementine. Open okay. this door, God damn it! I will knock the Please. goddamn Dad, door down. Stop. Who do they have? They've got to have somebody. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did. God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet. Come on, Dad. Now's oh. not the time. You've got to be kidding me with this, Larry. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the oh, fuck God, out of here. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I told you I'm guys they were suspicious from the start. God, crazy God, eyes. You never walk. trust crazy God, eyes. Please. Okay, we can do this. Oh. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, it's hard. Oh, crap. We don't have his medicine. Easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? No. No. Dad, come on. Look, I didn't Dad. like the dude, but I didn't want him uh, dead. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. <sighs> If he's dead, he's not dead. You know what has to Stay happen. Stay in a laugh. Stay in a laugh. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously, seriously pissed, pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back. Lee! We'll mourn him later. Oh, right no. Now, if I decide. To keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! You, we can't kill him if he's not dead. Lily, Lily can, still can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. If this ends poorly, I will never do next. anything again. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when to we keep all people alive. Was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. It's not true. Remember what Ben said. We've gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. I'm Just right have about something this. on hand. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Y'all, I have Is to he help breathing her. At all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Kenny, don't. Kenny, don't. Are you stupid? Kenny, He's gonna turn! Well, Kenny, You're don't. putting all of us at risk, you Three. son of a bitch! Stay in a laugh. Stay in a No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, Wasn't I he do, coming Lee. back alive? So do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? I don't know. For now. Yes, for now. But 
we still need to find a way out of here. They could have waited. Like, as soon as you see him get back up as a zombie, then crush his I'm, brain. You don't you have to do it before. Right I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Your walkie-talkie. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Oh man, y'all. Oh god, he was gonna stay alive. And now Kenny, now Kenny and I are on the outs just because I chose not to bash somebody's brain in before they were actually transformed into a dead guy. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. He's not wrong. Look, if we're going to survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. That being said, hear me out. Nobody really liked the dude. Doesn't mean I wanted his brain passion. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Kenny was trying to keep us safe. Larry was a good father. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me... We might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need to go back to this thing, the air conditioning. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Yeah. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off. Do we still have our multi-tool? To remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Ugh. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Uh, rock <laughs> won't help, but a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Anybody have a coin? It's you not could... coming off that way. Depending on how tight it is, I mean, maybe a fingernail. If you it's had some acrylic fingernail. All right, let's uh, grab something in here. Kenny doesn't have anything. He might have something on his person. I'm sorry, Lily. Brutal. Looking for a coin of some sort. Or even one of the cans, maybe? You got anything, Kenny? Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Uh, he's being so unhelpful. Please. I need to be alone. I need a coin. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a Larry coin probably or did. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn. Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. I've never needed one before to loot a corpse, so... Do what you have to do. Look, it is what it is. It's no hard feelings. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Does it matter? Just rifle through it. We've... We cannot be wasting time right now. I'm going with like, I feel like that'd be weird if you kept coins in your back pocket. I'm going for left. But I think if oh, you'd me. pick it up. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. I feel like he'd put it in his right pocket if he was right handed. Here we go. Two quarters. Though, and a dime. Mm, with a Georgia peach on it. I feel like we maybe should have looked through his back pocket just to see if we had found something. These screws and get this unit off. Okay. Remove it. Oh. It's not coming off that way. I hate that it does that prompt where you there we go. Good old Georgia. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. 
Kenny and I are gonna start throwing hands soon, y'all. <laughs> he turns on me so quickly just because I didn't want to kill a guy before he was officially turned. Oh, well, Clem can no fit through. Clementine can fit. We don't know where it leads. It's too small to Clementine fit through. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. But she probably doesn't have the key to open the ice box in the first place. I know you're brave enough. You think you can do this. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You got this. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. You got it, Clemmy. Wouldn't there be another grate at the end, though, that she would have to either break through or some sort of thing? There might be a dead body. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the oh. hell are you going? What do you care? Oh my. Kenny. Oh my god. How quickly? Thank How the turntable? Sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Okay, so they had... Oh, there was a back room behind... Okay. There was a back room behind that. Jeez. They were the one that put the bear trap there, you guys. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Oh. All right, we gotta explore. That is totally a weapon right there. Don't mind if I just yoink that. Uh, what is this? Yes, yes. Oh, going full Dothraki style. We're definitely keeping that. Look at the jars. St. John's Dairy, Dairy of the Year. I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, that's where she crawled through. God, what's wrong with these people? Is that a walkie-talkie? What? No, it's not. What is that? Oh. <gasps> yes, we're definitely taking that. No, wait. Oh, crap. This is actually is important. Oh, man. This is important, you guys. Jesus. This is where they butcher people. I don't like this decision. Do we go weapon or do we go zapper? I think zapper because we don't have to kill people. You know, I'm going zapper. I'm sorry. What the hell do you think you're doing? I already know it's going to be a bad decision. Back. What are you going to do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. I should have maybe grabbed. Should we go for the scythe? The sickle? Do we take the sickle or keep my... I don't know. I am I'm going. Oh, yeah. Don't sickle. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. I think this is good. No, 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 this is good, because we can take his gun after, and then we have a gun, and that's a better weapon anyway. Yeez. Hey, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. Well, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep alive. Not the kid. Enough meat on them to trade. To trade? Oh, I know, Mabel. 
This is my favorite part too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Uh. What's going on? He's placing a bear trap. He's gonna go back and find out. He's gonna find out. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. We'll take him out together. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act when I say. What should we do? I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act when I say. See what he's doing now. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get us killed. Did you get shot in the ear? Yes! Yes! No! I should have done... I probably sh Okay! Oh, let's go! I was gonna take the scythe, but that works so much better. Let's freaking go. Did I get shot in the ear, by the way? I got shot in the head? Why did we just make that eye contact? What the heck? Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? No. You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism? That's why you killed that woman. That's why you <gasps> yes! killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. I certainly do. I certainly do. Oh no, Clem! No, Clem! Ooh. Didn't realize she was behind us. Probably shouldn't have killed him. That probably wasn't the time to give in to that. Oh no! Gotcha! Just go. Oh no. I'll keep Clementine safe. Although Lily will now help watch out for Clem. She no longer has to watch out for her dad, so. I think what would have happened is if I chose not to kill him, Clem would have seen it and then Lily would have killed him and I would have been not a killer in Clem's eyes. That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Kitty. This chapter went zero to 102. I feel like they do such a great job at when like it's action and go time and people are dying. It really is like choose what to do or you'll miss out on an opportunity the zombies are starting to come back and we do not have the fences on y'all we need to get to the generator the fences are not back on who is that carly Carl lee ow Shh. is everyone okay no you guys have been gone way too long we need your help. They attacked us. Get out of here. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two A left. lot? Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Poor Shit. Mark. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. Kenny's We're gone rogue and he's probably going to be killed this dangerous. chapter because I didn't. The fence and see if there's a back way in. He would have stayed Kenny. with me. I think. Have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I think if I had sided with Kenny and bashed his brain in, we would have had more opportunities. I have a feeling Kenny's going to end up dead in this chapter because of my choices. Alright, we got to get this done. Oh, I'm going to take the boy and check around back. Woman. Why would they even want to keep Duck? And we Andy, kept her cow Andy, alive. Is that you? What's going on out there? 
I left Danny in the bar. Yeah, it's me. Okay. Did not have the good accent. Okay, I messed up. I did not have a good enough <laughs> southern accent. Please get back. Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, did ya? Let her go, Brenda. I can't see what's happening. Y'all. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away. You can't even me. eat the meat. All right, look around for something. I don't want to move any closer to her. I'm gonna end up getting Katya killed, and I liked Katya. Stop right there! I mean it. <sighs> Think of your husband, Brenda. Think about your husband, Brenda. Would he have wanted his dairy turned into a, a slaughterhouse? A killer, Lee. What am I supposed to be waiting for? Oh, there's a zombie above her. We need to push her back up. I saw Stay it. Back. I saw Don't it. Do anything very stupid. nice, very nice. He turned in. Mark turned into a zombie. Okay, keep talking to her. How did it come to this? What, what happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart. How, how did it come to this? Just stop. Please. I think we have these options because we explored and actually read everything. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't want to kill you, Lee. Talk to her. Talk to her. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. One more. One more, baby. One more. Come on. Ah! Ah! Let's go. Ah! They just stopped. Where's Kenny? I said, don't move, asshole. Don't you fucking hurt him. Oh my god. Oh no, Kenny's gonna I die now because of me. That ain't gonna happen! Andy, don't shut up! <laughs> Kenny went rogue! Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Calm down. Calm down? Calm down? What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline! Not true! They have medical supplies, so we can save Kenny, I think. We, we should be able to save him. Stab his eyes out! Oh. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Get up. Get the fuck up. Come on, 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 come on. No. I'm trying so hard. Oh my God, y'all! Lily, come on, sharpshooter. Wait a minute. I missed, I missed, I, I messed up, I messed up. I messed up, I messed up. <laughs> I doubt Lily would have helped us if we killed her father, so I think we did the right thing. I think we did. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dad and Mama get out here, you Oh, there is nobody left. Fuck. They're both dead. They're not coming. What do you mean? Please? They gone. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! 
I hope the bandits get him. Get back here and finish this, Lee! Go back with them. Get back he deserves here. to live like and see man, everything man. that he caused. You spared Andy's Lee. life. And now your mama's gonna nom on you. <laughs> Those biscuits don't feel the same. They're getting in. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's go. go. Oh, we did lose somebody. <laughs> Mama's going to numb on her boy. I told you guys that form felt so sketchy. It was too bright and happy. Oh, that was so good. I was not expecting that. I thought there was gonna be a lot more presence with the bandits, but oh man, that was so good. Now Clem is not gonna like me for a little bit, but I'm hoping we can still kind of fix that. Hey, I, Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Do you see Mike with us anymore? And Clementine almost ate some. Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just, ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? I stopped She's her. She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. Yes. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why she has batteries, it? I think. Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Mm. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Ah, uh, he's There's mad. There's gonna be fallout for killing Lily's dad. Yeah, I would imagine so. No, between us. What do you think? You murdered Larry. You're no hero. Fine then. Fine. I saved Duck on the farm and didn't save Sean. Now I kill someone before I can put your little girl in danger, and I'm even more of a monster. Oh, no. Maybe I should have said something. I don't care. You do what you have to do. I'm gonna keep doing what needs to be done. And what was I gonna say? You're no hero? Like, all three of those on, options were making him sound Stay bad. Close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad. I'm sorry you saw that. I shouldn't have done that. Feel remorse? Uh, I shouldn't have done that. They were very bad men, Clementine, but that doesn't mean I had to kill them. Why did you? I, I wasn't thinking. I, I was angry. I was scared. But I did the wrong thing. You should never kill anybody unless you absolutely have to, okay? Okay. Hey, Dad. Aww. What's that noise? Well, that's not good. Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Oh, more strangers. Oh, more strangers. It better not end right here. Don't shoot, we're here to help. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Well, I'm glad I announced our presence. I don't like this. Why is it always me? Figures. 
That feels oh, like a trap. Crap. This is a trap. This has got to be a you trap. you got to see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. What? This food could save all of us. Huh. Not There's no all way. Of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, duck. We could just take it's some food. Now. It's abandoned, ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Oh man, I'm tired what, of making hard decisions if today. Abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this Clementine, you're right. We shouldn't take this. Great balls of fire, y'all. <laughs> I mean, where would they have gone? I feel like this is a gift from the gods and we should accept it. <laughs> but I, I... <sighs> Clem's morality. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. You're on a tear today. We'll survive without it. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Kenny's rising up. Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. I know, it's probably a poor decision. <laughs> we chose not to steal it in this moment, but that doesn't mean we won't sneak and grab some in the middle of the night. Probably fit Clementine. She's good, thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. For the camera. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? This game is Think evil. You You're not gonna let me live <laughs> that down, are you? It makes you choose between doing the morally right thing or we're in a zombie apocalypse, there's no time for morals, you know? I wanna see this. You know? Oh, shit. They were watching us. <laughs> the girl, Jolene. knows her I... oh my god ah! <laughs> I want to know our results compared to other people this place is done it's time to move on screw it not like you ever listen to a damned word I say oh we are down is this all you got I told you this town is tapped do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that oh we this need is to gonna leave. go bad duck was asking about the farm last night not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this. All right, he madness. gets the RV working. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could What's be the survivors? Shit figured out. We've got some new survivors. 
Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Long road ahead. Oh, God, you guys, this game is so good. Okay, once again, we're dealing with a little bit, like, harder decisions when it comes to the split. Like, this one's not as down the middle, clear cut as uh, the last chapter's was, which is kind of interesting. So Survivor chopped David's legs off. You had 44%. So I guess, like, the other 60... Um, I'm sorry, the other 56% decided to just leave him there for dead, I'm assuming is what would have happened. But if we hadn't had done that, I don't know if we would have found out that they just come alive, you know? Because if we didn't save him and bring him back to the camp and then he turned without being bitten, I don't know if we would have ever actually found that out. And then maybe that wouldn't have gotten Larry killed. I got to figure out. I'm not going to look it up till the end, but I have to figure out if you can keep these people that I keep getting killed alive in some kind of way that you actually do it. So interrogation wise, you and 61% of players had Danny shoot her shot Jolene. Yeah. So I just didn't, I didn't know who she was I, because she brought up Clementine. I was apprehensive about it. I thought we could talk it out. Um, but she was a little bad shit. No lie. Um, pragmatism helped kill Larry. You and 51. Wow. That one is split right down the middle. I'm a little surprised by that. I actually thought more people wouldn't have helped with that. I guess there, <laughs> it was. I understand like my decision when I made that choice, you guys, was really. I know the game wasn't offering this option, but I feel like in like a real life situation, you would have had somebody there on ready to kill him as soon as he flipped the switch and turned into a zombie. But in that circumstance, I thought we could still bring him back alive. Uh, killed both of the St. John brothers. You and 61% of players didn't kill both brothers. We killed one, but not both. Somewhere along the way, I found my morals again. Um, and then stole food from the car. You and 49% of players didn't steal. That's really interesting. I actually thought a lot more people would have stole um, from the vehicle. Where my mind was when I made that decision as well was I... <laughs> I guess I was thinking that what if the people came back or obviously it was an abandoned car, but I just thought maybe if we didn't steal from the car, then good karma would have came back on us or something. I don't know. I said that this game was evil at that point because that's when it really pieced together that this game's entire, like, I feel like the epicenter of what makes it like this game so damn hard and complicated is because you want to go with what's morally right, but you also have to break... That, that's the whole thing, right? It's like even your main player, he is painted as a bad person, but does it matter after the zombie apocalypse? You know, so it's like, do you keep being a good person? But being a good person means you might not survive. And at this rate, I'm probably not going to survive with my good choices. <laughs> ah, that is so difficult. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Um, I'm going to honestly get started right on the on the next one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what some of the decisions you guys were. This has been by far my favorite game I've gotten to record. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.